because he brings wave clear, he yep. brings trading potential. He's also safe because yep. of a low cooldown on Body Slam. Mm -hmm. Good all around ban there, but especially since Golden Glue does like to chain kills to help the rest of his team. Yeah. Gragas may be big, but he can move quick, and yep. he will roam effectively if he takes control of the lane. He's greased up. He can slide around. Ooh, that is a <laughs> wonderful it's image. It's a pretty picture, actually. It's a very pretty picture. Lulu, no <laughs> one's surprised, banned away, uh, away from Zemfira. The Yasuo right. dropped from Golden Blue. I wouldn't be surprised to see three bans against him. Uh, against Zamfira? Against Golden Blue. Oh, okay. Against Golden Because if they do him against... Zamfira, then that would be what, like Malzahar. Lulu, Malzahar, and Kogma, <laughs> yeah, like AP basically. Kogma. Those would be some three uh, interesting Ooh. bands to go with if yeah. those are the target bands for his Zamfira. Yeah, but well, uh, not going to happen this time around. No. So Elise dropped away as well, and I'm curious to see how much emphasis goes on Riven here. Richie Rich, a big Riven player, um, but also the thing with me with the Yasuo band is Zamfira played Yasuo to good effect in some of Cog's yeah. games. It was uh, their third game win, th their game three win. Um, he played it. And so, I feel like if they're banning their own champions, they are really, really scared of Golden Glee being an assassin, and uh -huh. they're okay limiting Zemfira's champion pool here. Yeah, definitely a lot of mid focus yeah. between these two teams, mm -hmm. uh, because mid not only sets up what your team composition is going to do as a whole, but it also sets up your jungle plays, which yep. are also very important. A lot of jungle plays, especially early game, always start from the mid lane. That's true. We'll see what they can get with this one, honestly, and I like. Uh, you talked about jungle plays as well, the Elise ban coming through. Because I don't really know Ziploc as like a big Lee Sin player, but it's another champion that I think works well for NK Inc. Sets up a lot of early game plays and is something I feel like Complexity Red would work well with. But at this time, it's going to be Cognitive Gaming grabbing LeBlanc here for Zamfira, assumedly. Uh -huh. More standard. Yeah, I mean, okay. a couple people have played top lane LeBlanc. Mm -hmm. Hasn't had uh, the most success in competitive play yet, but it is something you use quite often in solo queue mm -hmm. and does quite well there at least in the laning phase so yeah we we'll have to see here if it is a Kha'Zix versus LeBlanc matchup in the mid yeah and that is uh, a tense matchup it is easily easily result in the death of e either participant yeah both of them have pretty decent lockdown and a lot of burst I, th I actually like this and I want to see it locked in because I like NK Inc a lot as a jungler I think he has uh -huh. a lot of room to make early plays and I'm glad I didn't say the thing I was going to say next. <laughs> Renekton picked up here for Jezzy, which is going to remove one of two big champions for Richie Rich. It will leave open his Riven, though. Right, right, right. So there's so much focus put on Richie Rich's Riven mm -hmm. that a lot of times, oh, it's always banned out when people play against Cog, and then he defaults over to Renekton. Yeah. They take the Renekton away. He got, he's got his first pick up yeah, there. if um, he wants it. He can go with the, the Riven into Renekton. Now, that matchup... Um, you have to play it really well as yeah, Riven in the early do. levels to make it work because they pretty much the balance team has shaved off all of the leeway from playing that champion early. If you mess up a little bit, yeah. mess up your timing at all in your trades, then you get punished really hard and you don't have... Mm -hmm. She has the lowest regeneration now to yeah. get back into it. So you can't heal up after you make a mistake. Yeah, and what I kind of interesting about that matchup as well is like... Renekton's going to stun you during his trades. You can't, like, shield reactively. It's like, if you don't get it first, nope, it's going to be painful. You have to do painful. it on, on initiate. Yeah. But I also like that you pointed out Kha'Zix as a very, very uh, good potential to jungle for mm -hmm. um, CLR. There's a chance, yeah. Because, man, is that a fun champion to jungle. Yeah. Kha'Zix now with the new Spirit Stone is basically just like a full-time roaming mid lane Kha'Zix would be. Because he can heal so much off of jungle camps because he puts out so much damage. Yeah. And then he's always in the fog of war. So all your lanes have to be worried about this roaming assassin. Plus, his objective control on the big objectives like Dragon and Baron, since they're always isolated, is immense. He can immediately turn one kill into a dragon. And yeah. that's something that you should really value highly among uh, all junglers. Well, so we come through here with the rest of the picks coming through. Uh, Annie, Caitlyn grab for the bottom lane. And Cognitive have three of the five champions that EG played at the beginning of the day. And I remember Steepy saying, like, man, we got really tired of losing <laughs> to uh, Sivir, Shivana, LeBlanc, so we just picked it ourselves. Can't beat them. Join, Join the Stampede. Em. Join the All Stampede. All right, so Stampede. No Volibear, though. Yeah, it is going to be uh, the same idea. You know, yep. they've got LeBlanc that is going to benefit from this move speed, too. We always talk about how, oh, yeah, it's so great for Shivana and Leona and these melee bruisers. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing for LeBlanc, too, because she relies on her positioning 
almost as much as those melees do. Yeah. She doesn't want to have to use her Ws to get into position because that's a huge part of her damage. Mm -hmm. She needs to be able to use the movement speed to get into position and then use every single ability plus the mimic to yeah. uh, just destroy somebody. So she's a really, she definitely is a big benefit from that on the hunt as well. Well, this is interesting. So it looks like the jungle pickup is going to be fiddlesticks here. So that's Not new. Not bad. So, and I'm, I'm scared a little bit for this team because you've got Cog like trying to dive in super hard and fiddlesticks who's like, Hold on, give me some time to set up here in channel. Yeah, so the thing is, um, it's going to be Fiddlesticks channeling his ultimate and mm -hmm. Pantheon also channeling the drop-in. Yeah. And whoever goes first is going to have <laughs> a lot better of a time. Yeah. The thing about Fiddlesticks is he has to have great ward coverage. Yeah, he If does. you ever am channeling that in a poor position, LeBlanc's got crazy gap, gap closers and she can silence you. Yep. And if you get silenced by her, you're also probably going to get chained and rooted, so... They've got a lot of answers. NK is going to have to play this really well. If he's ever out of position, on the hunt, popped, and they're going to dive right towards him. Yeah. So we're also going to be watching his items as soon as he gets the Zanyas. Then it'll yeah. be a, a lot better chance of staying alive. But especially before then, he's going to be definitely one of the targets. He's going to be squishy. And the thing I want to watch for as well is, does he rush the Zonias? So I know mm -hmm. most of the, the fiddle junglers I see will like maybe open a Doran's Ring, and then they'll jungle just... Jungle item. They'll rush it. They don't even go jungle item. They'll no. go like Doran's Ring, Boots 1, maybe Boots 2, Zonias. Okay. And I know Spectral Wraith is really efficient now. It's 2,000 gold, yeah. 10 CDR, 80 AP if you stack it up, infinite man in the jungle. I got to do my Do You Know, Did You Know earlier today. I heard it. We can do it now, though. Yeah. The jungle items... The gold per uh, 10 is 6.6. Mm -hmm. 6. Yeah. If you use every single conservation stack without yep. ever letting it get up to 80. Yep. So it's really good because that's you know kind of right between a tier one and tier two yep. gold generation item for a support. So if you skip that and you rush straight to the Zanyas, missing out on quite a substantial pot of gold. Here we are into the game. He's gonna start jungle item. So NK Inc. Well. He could he could Wards keep are jungle Eddie. items. That's true. Actually, yeah, I like this because Fiddle doesn't need health potions, and if you get a blue buff early enough in the rotation, you don't need so, health potions either. Yeah, that's on paper. He doesn't need health potions, sure. but he's the target of invades galore. Uh, oh yeah, Fiddle Six always getting invaded, and if you get chunked down, you get invaded. It's always nice to have a backup plan and rely on those potions because he is so confident. And NK is starting with double wards, going pink ward and green ward. Mm -hmm. uh, he's really going to have to make sure to make use of the wards and avoid any sort of jungle invade. Because, mm -hmm. ooh, my my god, Pantheon would just obliterate him in It'd the jungle. Be if, he, if he's even level 2, Pantheon is just going to stomp all over Fiddlesticks. So yeah. NK going with the avoid strategy. He will try and run away to live another day. Yeah. <laughs> so this going to be interesting. You know, I got to point out that early ward, though, because yeah. at this point, you could just stand there. And what happens if, you know, you drop that ward super early before minions even spawn and they went for a little late invade? Then Who's your pink gold? ward's gone. It's true. That would be huge. And on Valentine's Day, pink oh, is like the festive no. color. It's not Valentine's Day, Dorcas. It's close. If you round to All the right, nearest it's, week, it's close. It's still, it's Valentine's week. Can we just extend that? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Save that one. Good job. Free. Yep. Valentine's right. Week still in both, effect. You know, the big thing is, you know, both of these junglers are actually getting support for once. The duo yep. lanes have actually decided to help them both out. Aw, how nice of them. Their junglers actually got a leash. Okay. Well, into the lane we go. See how it pans out. Both these junglers are going to be in pretty happy spots. Ziplock already level 2, finishing his camp out. Nothing too special. Mid laners. I want to see where this goes. So I remember seeing... LeBlanc versus Akali, which is a different matchup, but it was one that uh, Pabelzer did incredibly well against Voiboy in. Do you remember seeing Utility LeBlanc going with the Biscuits, though? That's a little... I really wish I could click on his uh, stats right so now to see how deep he is, because it's, it's not that deep points. to get busy. Yeah, you can get it at 9 points, but you have to give up neutral buff duration. Which is huge for LeBlanc. Yeah, it's 30 seconds on your blue buffs, basically, which is which is pretty valuable, especially if you're going to get a lot. Now, maybe Ziploc takes the second blue for the CDR. Uh -huh. Maybe Zamfira just wants, you know, says, you know, screw it, whatever. 
I like Biscuits because it's 20 extra health per potion, and if he expects to buy multiple against mm -hmm. an aggressive jungler, then it's some extra health and he'll survive the lane longer. We'll yeah. see how it goes. I mean, I guess that the mana might be comparable. It's 10 between mana. Between how many potions you chug over the course of a game and the duration of your blue bluff. But, gah, the CDR for LeBlanc is huge. Mm -hmm. All right, never mind, though. We'll talk about that later because the old early Pantheon gank Wow, this should be extremely effective here. They'll probably get a summer spell at least. Yeah, we'll see if he gets the double dash. He does have the first one cues. There's dash one, there's dash two. Stunned. Now, nicely done, Jezzy. Now, Ziploc here. Whenever you go gank a Renekton, you don't want to position yourself right behind him. That's true. Because of that mechanic there of the slice and dice. You always want to come from the side so that he has to use his first dash to come sideways. And even, even if he does get a second one, He'll only get you know the dice part away from you, hmm. so Instead it's kind up. of kind of contrary to to all normal ganks where usually you just want to get as far behind him as you can. Yeah, Renekton, he's a slippery little gator. Much well, better well to come played. from the side. He just said, "See you later, alligator," and he was gone. Impactful and support daddy, support daddy, formerly Evaniscus. Mm. He's officially support daddy now, by the way. For those who remember him from Velocity last uh, last season, and Ink, of course, a former teammate of his from. Velocity. Uh, these guys pushing the bottom lane pretty well. Seven minion lead in the bottom. Golden Blue takes some harass. Nice little play there by Zamfira, but he's not getting a huge headway there. Yeah. I like the combo, though. Anytime you get to see the LeBlancs um, immediately do the whole combo there, it gives me confidence in their gameplay because mm -hmm. LeBlanc is a champion that requires a lot of mechanical skill. Mm -hmm. And the split seconds between spell casts mean everything. That could cause you to mess up your R and get the wrong um, spell mimicked, or it could cause you to go back to the wrong W. There's a lot of little things with LeBlanc. Yeah. So that just that little play right there, even though it didn't have a big effect, I definitely have confidence in Golden Glue's play now. Could even cause X. Here we go. Goes oh, in. No get that one, though. Never mind. He walked backwards. <laughs> he knew the range. Ziploc shows up. He's fine. Top lane trades coming through again. Jesse's actually starting to get on the losing end of this one. Wow, gets the Fury, gets a nice amount of Harass, actually, and gets the health back up. Yeah, definitely very close here. And uh, again, Renekton starting with the Dorian's Blade, going very aggressive against Shivana. We just saw that matchup in LCS. And uh, Balls, I believe it was, on the Renekton. Made great use of his Doran start versus yeah. the, or his Blade start versus the Shivana. But this yeah. time around, it seems to go pretty even here. And an early back from Renekton as well. So Jesse's going to miss out on some golden XP. Ziploc's actually chilling in the upper jungle as well. He's counter juggling, stealing away one of the big golds. He's waiting for Renekton to come back Ooh. to lane. Um, okay. Renekton, not quite the dive target that Mundo is early, though. No. Even with Pantheon, who can tank uh, two tower hits probably with his passive, it's still pretty risky to go on Renekton yeah. early in the game. I mean, he's basically the strongest early game Yeah, time. when Renekton hits Ari, he gains 300 health. Uh, Zane King coming down. Damage on a support daddy. Forcing him back. Nothing here. Doesn't have HP as well. Stun back on a Zane King. No big deal. But I was going to say, like, when Mundo ulti loses a quarter of his health, when Renekton ulti just gains 300, so I yeah. feel like those are different targets. And uh, there's less emphasis on removing a Renekton early. He tends to fall off compared to Mundo anyway. Exactly. Um... And we're sitting here in the bottom lane for a while. Yeah. Uh, we will want to keep track of the experience levels. Mm -hmm. uh, but even before they hit level 6, and they're definitely going to go for trades, there's still the possibility of landing one of those uh, good CC chains, especially yeah. if there's a rotation from uh, either jungler. So it's it still has the possibility of action before 6. It's just that once it does hit 6, yep. you're almost guaranteed. Well, level 6 gets gained fly. by both top laners here. Uh, bottom line still both five. Jungler's close to hitting. Uh, actually, Ziploc's behind. He's only four. And by the time the buffs have started to respawn on the second rotation, normally I feel like you want to try to see your junglers hit six. That mm -hmm. tends to be like pretty doable. Oh, yeah. First buff gives you six. And uh, NK Ink's the only person even close to that. So NK, he's made good use of the wards that he purchased early. And yeah. his hard farm path is definitely working out. Talking about junglers hitting six, Fiddlesticks is definitely on the same level of like Vi, where he would love to just yeah. <laughs> farm his own jungle. Don't bother me. I'm trying to work here till he gets level six, and then he's gonna come, and you'll be very happy with the gank that he brings post six. Doran's ring well, spirit stone. Nice. Playing a little game right there. Exactly the right number of ticks there. One more second. All right. So Golden Glue's not gonna miss anything here. 
Oh, really, Freak? Well, I mean, he's not going to, like, miss One, XP. One, two, three, four, five, six ranged minions. And a cannon. Let's see how he does here. 48. Let's see if he gets it. Oh! No! Golden Glue, you made me a liar. Well, he missed, like, everything. What the heck? Golden Glue, come on. All right. Well, he's got blue buff, at least, so uh, yeah, we'll be regener worth it. regenerating his mana. And he is now post six, mm -hmm. so he can go for the all-ins on LeBlanc if he gets his fiddlesticks into position. But you can tell both teams are worried about this mid lane because there's just a spattering of wards on both sides for both teams. And that really actually, uh -oh. usually you give the advantage to the first jungler who goes to gank. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it's a disadvantage. <laughs> that was warded NK Inc. Because Sorry. not only can they do things like that and make you lose your um, cooldowns, they can also counter gank you. And Fiddlesticks being counter ganked is probably the worst scenario that you can have. Yeah, he dies pretty quick. If yeah, when you find him channeling, then he's, uh, Pantheon's going to annihilate him. Golden Glue walking through a ward. As we talked about the spattering of wards in mid lane, they serve a dual purpose, both protecting it and containing both assassins. So if I'm looking to get a trade off from the Fog of War here. Oh. Oh. Or good juke. But there we go. Chain. Not quite. So a lot of misses here. <laughs> a lot of air balls in the mid lane. Both teams. Fiddlesticks no just with the... Uh, the walk-in here. Yeah, so that'll be interesting to look for. How much can he get? Of course, he's got fear. flash. He can go for the fear. Oh, the fear is going to get landed. Do they have enough damage? Silence comes across. One extra bounce oh, there. The drain the gets him. First flash blood. drain. Woo! The flash drain from NK. He was angry about the missed ultimate there. Yep. Made him look silly because Fear was able to bait him with his ward. Showed him, you know, flash drain, baby. Here comes right. the Pantheon answer, though. Ooh, good flash for support. Daddy and Ziploc doesn't find anything impactful. Stays a little bit too long. He's got a teammate, but he's getting low. Puts on the flash. Goes uh -oh. down anyway. Counter engage now from Annie. Nothing here. Taking the pain. Did they get enough now on this one? Still chasing. Nothing picked up. It's going to be the death to impactful. The chase on a Zane King. Flash now under the turret. Do they have Golden anything Glue more? Has no flash. So nothing it's dangerous left. to go in. And he did not evolve wings. So if he goes for the kill and he can't jump back out. Yeah. Now, it does afford them dragon control. Okay. So pretty decent for them. Uh, I like the, the pickup here because they didn't actually have to call their top laner down, even though Renekton did rotate. Uh, they're going to get a lot of damage on that top turret in the answer for this dragon because you know, Renekton was halfway down. Yeah. Doctor under a little bit of pain, 70 to 76 in minions. A pretty close matchup there. One that Richie Rich is actually doing a decent job Ooh, of. Oh, he's riding his tail here. All right. Dragon form available. I feel like he'll live. I feel like it's not too big of a problem this time around. Yeah, he's going rush tank, Shivana. He's not going for the Blade of the Ruined King. Yeah. Because, you know, against Renekton, if you do that, man, he'll take advantage of your lack of power mm -hmm. before you complete Blade of the Ruined King. The curve right there. While you're sitting on Cutlass and waiting for Blade yeah. upgrade is huge. You really lose out on a lot. So that would be a dangerous dangerous purchase for him. And he's just going the static or standard stun, Sunfire. Okay, Impactful. Can you get your team extra kill there? NK Inc. Waiting in the Wings does have Crow Storm. No flash, though. Yeah, no flash for either this duo lane. So if Zane King, oh, he does find the jump in. Oh, my God. Baited again? That was impressive. They had no vision. Nope. Beautiful. They guessed it. That was beautiful. What a read. Um, they back off there. So a uh, pretty big win for COG without having to expend uh, much down bottom. Cooldown is lower, and now they know there's not as much gank pressure from NK Inc. No flash, no crow storm. He's going to have to go kill his jungle some more. Now, now sometimes, yeah, uh, sorry, you want to you want to actually take that hit so that sure. you bait the team to come in because yeah. you've got a fill six waiting for the bush. Worked out. I still got to say, good play, COG. I liked it a whole lot. Um, so, actually, I guess Leona's ultimate. Uh, pretty sure, 75, I think. Yeah, giving him vision, too. Because there's a giant sun, sunbeam coming see down. see the brush, though. Apparently, oh, that's apparently a word. we got some uh Someone some told intel. you it did? It does. All right. Genius. Huh. Well, either way, Cog, come out pretty clean on that one. Made in the shade, maybe. I want to see what NK goes for next, though. He hasn't bought in a long time. I want to see if he goes for like an Edith's Large Rod or if he goes for Spectral Wraith. Wraith would cost 1300 right now. Mm -hmm. And if he has that much money, he did recall. What's it going to be? It Spectral is. Wraith, okay. So er early gold generation. Yeah, so. I like that. 10 CDR, 50 AP right now. 
After he kills 15 big monsters, that increases to 80 AP. Uh, and that's the entire difference in stats. So we'll see where it goes. Ziploc here. He's waiting to fly. Stretching his legs. No Coming flashes. in. That's a stun. They go for support, Daddy. Layer the CCs and down goes Annie. Nothing here gets the kill credit. 1 0 and 1 on Sivir. Coming nice, back now after a bad nice landing phase. Slight lead there on the Leona ultimate as yeah. well from Zan King. Very well executed. They go for the guy. Now just flash. I guess both of them didn't have their flashes. So both valuable targets. Yep. Blue buff again to Golden Glue. NK Inc. just chilling with Spectral Wraith. And that, of course, won't give him plus two AP. So he's losing out on, dun, on ability power dun, right now. Dun. Oh, Renekton. Can he stay alive? Going to dash over towards his uh, live turret. And they're not going to get anything for it. So in comes the, the jump back. Golden Glue is going to pop ulti. This is not good. The lots of CC going to come in. Golden Glue going to get turned into gold itself. Zamfir getting the kill credit. 1-1-0-9-9 one, one, CS. Good collapse there from Cognitive. Yet they're still behind in gold. So they do have to be um, cautious here. And they do have to start turning those kills into some sort of objective. They need more gold out of it. And they're currently getting. And they are... Going up against, you know, Kha'Zix plus Fiddlesticks, it does have a really good potential uh, team fight here from uh, Complexity Red. Mm -hmm. Good amount of AoE damage that they can pull off. Yeah, on the Stampede, if they're able to, to land the anti stun to set everything up. I liked your Vash reference, by the way. Yeah. That was good. I'm glad. I laughed at the analyst desk. No one heard me. <laughs> I was off stage, but I enjoyed it myself. That's why I say it's the that's the shortcut version if you yeah if you get the, get the get call the out. He's gonna go for the stun, but it's not a uh, not time to go yet. No follow. Just warming him up. No big deal. So Richie Rich, I wanted to point out something that happened about a minute ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, Cognitive had a ward on NK Inc's red buff. And Richie Rich had just proxied the top lane wave between the two turrets. Yeah. And then they saw like NK Inc start the buff. And like no one kind of rotated. He Richie Rich just like finished his recall uh -huh. and was like, you know what, we don't really want to make moves on you yet. They kind of they had the, the like potential to like kind of force the issue and do something really aggressive. Uh -huh. And they were like, We'll wait for a while. Interesting. Because I really like the Shivana plus Pantheon combo as mm -hmm. a counter jungling combo. Yeah. Almost uh Almost the scariest there. Lee Sin plus Shivana also really high up there as far as annoying duos are concerned. Yay, annoying. Okay, coming in just for the lane pressure here. Uh -oh, Zen King goes offensive. Very big dive. Zen King on the half HP. Zen King low. Not going to be a death for Zen King. He flashes away. Didn't quite need to. Ulti comes off into Zen King. No big deal on that one. The block roaming in. Ooh, this is a little bit scary, but they're running away. Seen by a ward. Zen Fear looks like he won't find anything, and he'll get back to his own Man. lane. NK walks into lane for a little bit of lane pressure, has to burn his flash. Flash on Fiddlesticks is extremely important. That was a giant win for Cognitive. There was, and now they're going to push down towards the mid lane instead. Uh, they just recently had a good trade on Golden Blue, who was forced out, so that's a low health Kha'Zix. Just recalled towards losing more health. Will Cog care about him? Are they scared? Yeah, it's pretty Not hard enough. for him to go in. I mean, yeah. NK might have been able to set up on that side brush there to jump over, but look at all these deep wards. Cognitive yeah. are prepped. They know the easiest way to combat Fiddlesticks is getting vision on the entire map so that he has nowhere safe to channel his ulti from. And when TSM fought against a uh, jungle Kha'Zix, when that was Cloud9... Yeah, they just blew him up. Yeah, they blew him up, and they got a blue trinket, but the dive in now on a Zamfir. Do they have the damage? Not quite enough. There comes Crows from Happy Birthday to nothing here. But Dragon's going to go over to the blue team, and now the jump in. They're going to trade back onto Pantheon. Impactful, low on health, flashes away from Zane King. Will he stay alive? Richie Rich there. Impactful still running, and he's going to die to a Dragon Lady. Now to Nova Keen. Richie Rich not in a good spot. Nothing here stays alive. Going to trade kills back and forth. Three for two, but Dragon goes to Cognitive. The carnage everywhere. They drop an extra kill, but they grab Dragon, and they lose map control. Very, very close team fight. And they were the ones who started it off. It's going to be answered by a turret. Really, really even trade here. This is definitely a close game. Both of these teams. Yeah. You know, they have so much in this third place match. It's not just a third place match. This is for not having to go through challenger top 10 teams again. Okay, so the in ult in from NK was able to get Sivir out of the fight. He doesn't kill her, but he got her out of it. And Kha'Zix jumping over the wall means that's two out of the fight. Um, LeBlanc here going to be able to go answer that Kha'Zix. And they do actually find him because of the ward coverage. Mm-hmm. 
But man, is this close. It was weird. The two deaths that Complexity Red took were like overextensions in, the, in like the end of that fight. Gold yeah. Blue dove in, didn't find Sivir, and like Impactful like didn't realize Shivana was coming for him, and like auto attacked Le like Leona for a while. It was yeah. kind of strange, but they do go through for two. They got Ooh. the mid lane turret back for it. Golden Glue senses going off nope. here. Too close. Not Spidey senses. Wrong kind of bug Man. goes down. So when people kind of hover around bushes like that, it's, it makes me think they know better because he almost backed off. Okay, here comes Pantheon though up top. Walks back for a second, lands the double jump, rooted in place. Now can he stay alive? Another stun comes through. More burst, 500 health, still going lower. Nope, mm. Sam Fira picks it up. Another one going away. He did play that as well as he could have, though. As soon as he sees Pantheon ult, he steps one half step back in order to get two charges from Slice and Dice, but it's just no no reason he's going to be able to escape that with his life. Nope. And again, a roam from Cog. They were able to capitalize on it. Three members pushing onto the inhibitor turret, but there are defenders. We'll see if they can get in here. Inhib now. Inhib turret, I should say, under fire. The flash oh. in on the Golden Blue. Crow's from shows up. What's he going to get? Fear on his Amphira. Doesn't get a ton. Silence coming through the drain. Not going to be enough. Keeps Golden Blue alive, but nothing else. And they got a huge cooldown for it. The mm -hmm. dive definitely paying off there. Again, Cognitive are not letting up on this. As I was saying before, I mean, both these teams, this is not just a third place match, but they, they won't have to climb the Challenger 5v5 ladder again yep. to get back in. They'll get immediately seated in. A lot of extra time. Golden Blue gets the slow. All right, Richie Rich forced the ulti. Not a huge cooldown, but you can see him saying, this is my jungle. I didn't get ganks mid. That means I get to get to uh, get steal away the steal race. Steal the race. Yep. All right. In the Bjergsen style. Keep your grubby little hands off, Richie Rich. Yeah. You're rich enough. You have 140 minions. You don't need my gold. So here we go into this game. Complexity Red. I'm glad that they're fashionably. Um, they're the correct color for their team name. Fiddle Six is not a very fashionable guy. Oh, he's gonna run on the trap. His it's his own team. trap. All right, just care. <laughs> it's hidden in the bush here. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We're good. It's not blind pick. We're good to go. Wow, he's got his stun charged up. So Renekton actually has a stun down right now. That's a good opportunity for Shivana to engage. You always want to keep track of those cooldowns mm -hmm. that your lane opponent is using and engage when you have the uh, favorable matchup there. Renekton, the stun being down is a huge part for him. Uh, so I like how Richie decided to take advantage of that. Okay, well Ziploc going again for the mid lane, but NK Inc. is go. around. They're going to engage, and he walks very far forward. Does not have Crowstorm available to silence and stun now onto Pantheon. Going to pick up support, Daddy. NK Inc. not in a good spot either. I don't think he should have joined that fight. Impactful. Ziploc's around off. a bit long. One more attack. Ooh, the Can't find it and goes down. Mid lane picked off as well by Zamfira. Four kills in the map. They're starting to run away with this one here. The roaming from Cognitive. They're just taking the first step each time. Mm -hmm. Even though NK was prepped and ready, not able to answer. He didn't have his ultimate. Wasn't able to add any of the damage. It's Cognitive making the plays, and they need to shore that up with Vision. After you get so much control taking out mid and bot, you could just litter that blue side with wards. And or down just goes keep them. Jazzy. Yep. Five kills, no unanswered in the last 30 seconds or so. Cognitive start run away, starting to run away with this one. 5,000 gold right. lead. We barely missed that mid. Ooh. And this was Infira able to get both chains. I it's believe. a missed jump. Uh, he yeah. failed to jump over the wall. Did didn't the go very far. Face plant there. Yep. It looked graceful, but just really short. Because it was slow-mo? Yeah. That, that's I mean, why he, he went up really high. Points. Flapped his little wings. So if you were an Olympic judge, what would you give that jump? And uh, remember, he died for it, Free. Yeah, so that's like a 2 out of 10. Okay. There you go. Good. It was graceful, but it was not very effective. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anytime you die on a jump, probably they're going to take off points. So take note of that. Any future Olympians that are watching the, the No fatal here, jumps, don't, please. You don't want to die on your jumps because Freak will remove points. Yep, I'm now the official Olympic judge for the Summer Olympics gymnastics. Check. We're good. Check. It's going to be me. What, what kind of items we got here? Uh, look at Zamfira. The the reason he's been able to do this is, of course, the single target burst from his death buyer, but he rushed Void Staff. Mm -hmm. So even though you know the primary targets that he's going for aren't building any magic resist, he actually has the option of killing Renekton now, even yeah. though Renekton has gone for it. And yeah. pretty much with him hogging all blue bus, he's going to have decent cooldown reduction, and he's going to be spamming mm -hmm. it on whoever is close to him. Yeah, and this is interesting because we've I've seen LeBlanc builds evolve over time. So this is the like yeah. original, I say original as of like six months ago build for LeBlanc. Like this is the standard bursty build. Yeah, people are now almost all maxing W, 
This yeah, was, oh, it's yeah, like oh, not yeah. even. It, you know, it was cute for a while. People have evolved and said, no, it's W now. Um, and even so, without Athenes, so is still doing that. I mean, it's uh -oh. a good story, but. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be some fighting. Some Support Daddy trying to run away. Crowstorm does come through into the Baron Pit. Look at the damage. They've picked up one so far. It's going to be the flash away. One for one. Impactful trying to run. Golden Glue putting a slowdown to help his team as Amphira finds another. That is NK Inc. going down. Ziploc still on the chase. Golden Glue. He can oh. jump to a minion and queue him. Yep, that'll do it. Nice Ziploc call. Ziploc picks one up. Uh oh, nothing here. Trying to fight. Chessy goes down. Another good fight for Cognitive. Four for one. Cool story, bro. Four kills for Cog. And now they can go for the Baron without the threat of a Smite Steal and a Fiddlesticks coming over the wall. I was going to say, it's very dangerous to go for a Baron versus a Fiddlesticks team because they can uh, keep you in that Baron. But now it's going to be easy. So there's the jump over. They actually have Zamfira jump back into the pit. He should have not taken his second W there and just mm. stayed up on the other side, maybe. Yeah, and nothing here flashed over the wall. NK Inc. flashed yeah. to get in, and everyone ditched him. It's It was a lot of hopping over there. Yeah. Hopscotch. I mean, his no one wanted a surprise party. I guess a lot of people don't like surprise parties. I didn't know that, because I'm a pretty big fan. Maybe it's just Fiddle. Maybe he's just a really unpopular dude. Like, he and Amumi should hang out. They're two of the only undead champions in the game. Kind of. Mm, Amumu will take any friends he can get. Yep. Even a Fiddlesticks? What about a Teemo? I said any Creek. Okay. All right, they're going to take the Dragon, though. Uh, it looks like there will be no answer here from Cog as far as uh, kills go. But Richie Rich has a little bit of time by himself up at the top turret. He might be able to get some damage done, soften that sucker up. See what he can find. He's going to actually recall. The minions will soften it up, but not, not too terribly much. And here comes the push now onto the mid lane. P uh, easily picked up turret on this one. And now all six tier one and tier two turrets are down. Cognitive, 25 minutes in only. Like, this is yeah. pretty rapid, everything considered. Yeah. Ziplocs is cracking himself up over how, how well this is going uh, with that Pantheon. And he's almost worked on that Black Cleaver. So, you know, Zamfira has already got his own spell penetration. Ziploc's going to be adding Armor Shred for everybody. You know, Sivir definitely going to be happy about that one. Resistances are not going to be a uh, valuable purchase for complexity because the penetration has been rushed so quickly from Cognitive. Yeah. Really hard for them to have an answer. They're going to try Fear of Nothing here. It's going to go down right away, and the battle has begun. Mandom coming soon. One for one so far. Oh Backline support. Daddy taking some pain. Rich Rich in the front line. Golden is going to go down to Ziploc. He's going to get locked up out of the turret, though, and trade that one back. Then Fira into the back line. Finds one more impactful. Trying to survive under his turret. Can he find Zamfira with this one? Some damage. Find Zane King. Jesse's alive as well. And suddenly LeBlanc, the only one alive, can't dodge that one. Triple kill impactful. The complexity Man. red finds some life. <laughs> Cognitive get engaged on by the fiddle, and they just turn forward. Like both these teams yeah. only have one mode. They are just always go. Always attack, move forward. Okay, Phil Six comes in. You're gonna fear up our tank. Okay, we change directions. Immediately reinitiate. Pantheon jumps in. Everybody's gonna go deep. He tanks up the first turret and he's start trying to back out, but everybody else goes deep onto the support, taking him out. The chain doesn't land on impactful. It hits Jezzy. Oh that's that, so might, lives. that may have been the difference in life or death for that Caitlyn. But the world will never know. Looks like Sivir's coming in. Wants a piece here on the uh, hunt, but it's a red buff Sivir. I mean, a red buff Caitlyn. Oh, who's going to have the damage? Q! Oh, doesn't, doesn't dodge any of it. More crits come out from nothing here. He's a full item up, heck. I, Better yeah. duck. I hate how Sivir gives away tips to the enemy team. It feels yeah. like, you know when you're in a game and your laner starts typing in all chat, haha, jungler, I have a ward there. I can see you. <laughs> Don't gank me. I'm like, no! You fool! Don't tell them that we have a ward there. You're giving away free tips. Sivir does the same thing. She's like, yeah, duck, get out of the way of my boomerang blade. You know, I think it's actually no. more of a taunt. So, yeah. Well, it's a taunt, but you're giving them, you're like teaching the enemy. Well, no, think about it. So think back to EU semifinals. When we had <laughs> Tick, Trick, and Duck versus NIP. Uh -huh. Tick, Trick, and Duck. Uh, well, actually, no, sorry. Nuke Duck was the better duck than Tick, Trick, and Duck. So they were saying that they were the better duck. What? in the hell does that have to do with Sivir? Because Sivir's Todd. line is better duck. Oh, wow! Got it's it! It's come full circle, okay. Got it. Duck, Got it. duck, duck, <laughs> duck, duck, and there's no goose. Where's Atlanta when you need him? <laughs> uh, not in the tournament, unfortunately. See where he goes from here. Cognitive looking to go back onto the aggressive.
Onto the aggressive. Sure, we'll go with it. Yep. They're looking for the siege. Six turrets still down. Let's see what they're looking for here. They, they certainly are the team that feel like they're winning. Yeah, and they've done a really good job of warding up the map so that Fiddle Six can't get the engages on them from Fog of War. Mm -hmm. But the one place that's hard to ward is inside by those inhibitor turrets. Sure. And they don't want to make that mistake again because that was a really good counter-initiate from Complexity. Yeah. Gave them a lot of momentum. And if they can pull that off again, then they'll jump right back into this game and they can actually start taking things outside on the map. Well, I think that COG are playing the long con here. They have four pink wards in the upper jungle on the route to Baron. Yep. Those won't time out. They're like, all right, we know you won't have vision. We do. We'll wait till it respawns. And they've got another pink ward. So everybody's bought one. Yeah. Everybody's pink ward has been purchased. That's teamwork right there. Fira has yet to place his. They're a little bit stingy. That's fine. It looks pretty in the inventory. It's fashionable and it's colorful. They also have, you know, three of those sweepers. I like that. Both teams upgrading the sweepers. Mm -hmm. Only thing here, um, Complexity could change out one of their trinkets for the scrying. Arb, I know we, uh, we talk these up a lot. Yep. Nobody likes to get them. But in the situation that you're running into five pink wards in your own jungle leading over to Baron, yeah. you might consider just one person mm -hmm. picking up a scrying orb. Yeah. Going for that. Well, I have two thoughts here as well. So one is that NK Inc. finished his Zonias. So we're talking about you know vision and all mm -hmm. that being important. Zonias got finished as of that last team fight, that Complexity won. Yeah. So for the first time all game, NK Inc. can finally survive in a team fight um, and get his Crowstorm off, which I think is actually really important. Assuming he doesn't get stunned by Pantheon sure. or silenced by LeBlanc. Well, that's up oh. to him. Nice try. Didn't uh -huh. block it. So it might, might seem like a... Uh, a douche move to try and make nothing here take that when he wasn't ready with a spell shield. But Sivra's got lifesteal. Yeah. So definitely want to make her take that instead, if you can. That was nice. They pinged out that they knew the pink ward was there. The tur the uh, ward that these guys oh, just yeah. killed, it was like they could have only seen that with the pink ward. So they know where one of them is. And then when Complexity has some map control, they can sweep that away. But Baron's up in a minute. These wards have not fallen yet. So Cognitive, no, no one's stopping them yet. Now, they've got 15 seconds till Dragon respawns. They have the timer, so they can take that global gold, and then they have two options. Do we uh -oh. try and go for a dive? Oh, or I mean, we can just try and bait around Dragon, not even wait for Baron bait. Well, um, blue buff as well. Both teams knew it was up. Sivir tries to chase him off, and gets it, it successfully. And Dragon as well, so... Cognitive, you know, they're they're playing a bit of a slower game here, but they're taking away a lot of the objectives. Baron's in 15, Dragon's theirs. One of the pink wards got swept away. CLR's getting something going here. All right, so right now, Cognitive really picking up all the pieces. They've got five more seconds till Baron. It looks like they are going to go for the option of uh, Baron bait because they have such a good team for catching Complexity. Oh, yeah. If Complexity overextend inside the jungle, on the hunt, plus... LeBlanc. We've talked about the potential there. It's also on the hunt, plus Leona. Not only is her Solar Flare really long engaged, but once she gets sped up, she can land it with increased accuracy. Well, they're waiting around in the uh, bottom of the Lizard Brush. Panther oh, comes in. Well, they're going to engage. The and King's going to get jumped. A nice flash over the wall. Ziploc does not find anything except Air for ball. a trap. The jump in from Jezzy a bit by himself, but here comes Crows from Fox oh and Fira, and he is gone. There comes Ziploc, but Zonius is up. I think he's going to stay alive. Nothing here does not get caught out. Golden was going to look for it. He will pick up the kill there. This fight's going well. Two for one so far. Zen King forced back. The fear onto Richie Rich. Golden Blue forcing more jumps away. Richie Rich flashes over the wall. Still a two for one. This fight is actually continuing right now. Remember that NK Inc. is alive. Does have some uh -oh, damage available. Ziploc finds a way in. Golden Blue gets one. Does not get two. But Ziploc trades the kills away. CLR is going to push down and get a turret for this. This is great news for Complexity right now. They're able to spread out. See them avoid not only Pantheon Ultimate, but the initiation from Zamfira. His first two spells not able to hit either. Really, really spread out chaotic team fight. Uh, they were able to take advantage. NK able to channel right into Zamfira. That was just fortunate for him. He was, he was not really expecting that one to go through. Gets the timely fear down onto the right target, not the yep. clone. And then Zanya's after the commitment from Pantheon. Zanya's so effective against Pantheon because he has yeah. to 100% commit to you. He can't escape. And then he's stuck there inside the rest of your team. Gets taken down. Now here's Golden Glue. It's, uh, it's definitely worth going for that kill, even if you get answered. Mm -hmm. Because he has the chance of jumping right back out if he's quick enough. But yeah. 
it was answered quite well from Ziploc there. Because one more thing I want to point out from that fight as well is nothing here. Uh, at the last second, put on barrier and immediately died to a single Q from Golden Glue. So he, he overkilled the barrier and still one shot at him. Yeah. And with uh, evolved uh, claws <laughs> doing missing health yeah. damage, it's the one one case you actually want to barrier early in a fight instead of late as an AD carry, because you end up just getting one shot regardless. Yeah. The barrier does not count as health. Nope. Neither. Nor does that. Goodbye. <laughs> Nor does that. No, he's got zero health. He's dead. Here uh -oh. goes Pantheon uh -oh. initiate. Admiral Ziploc. Looking for the damage on Impactful. Into the back line goes Jezzy, but it's a five versus four. Jezzy's going to basically take one for the team. Try to yeah. run away. Will die. Richie Rich gets the kill. The rest of the team does get out, but with that, it's a 5v3. Fiddlesticks does not have Flash, but he's got his ulti. So this is a pretty strong Baron baiting position for Cognitive. They know that NK is itching to come in for this one. Mm -hmm. And that's why they've still got two people outside the Baron pit waiting for him to make a move. Yep. Team's going to back off. Richie Rich is not Richie Rich, sorry. Golden Glue is going to run to the bottom lane and get some gold. And the rest of Complexity yeah. are just taking away their jungle. It's the best thing they can do at this time. Yeah, just give that one up. <laughs> Way too dangerous. Hey, look at Renekton. He might know. He's got one of those. Yeah, he does. Inventory. Hey, they know. Too bad. Uh, they know those three sweepers. Too bad he's already dead. They're not going to help them out that much. Come up from cooldown eventually. Yeah. Well, eventually. <laughs> I'm just saying. All things come full circle. I'm, I'm really good at this game. <laughs> the cooldown will eventually come back. Thank you, John Madden. Um, I I could be wrong in this one. I'm going to do a did you know where I don't actually know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's just a question, Freak. <laughs> yeah. Kobe, did you know? Um, I believe Scrying Orb is the only, uh, so the blue trinket, because I forget all the full names of them, is the only trinket whose cooldown still goes down when you pay for the upgrade. I believe you can cast more of them if you pay for it. Whereas I know the lenses, the red trinkets, mm -hmm. stay at 60 seconds. Yeah, oh yeah, when you purchase the, the last yeah, upgrade. Yeah, when you purchase yeah, the last yeah. upgrade. The yellow ones stay at 120, or if you go to pink ward, it goes to 180, actually goes up. Blue ones I know used to go down. I don't remember if they still do. Yeah. Well, thank you for but your did you guess. <laughs> Renekton here on the other side of the wall. He's always looking to try and get in from the back line because he wants to lock down LeBlanc before she gets her chain of spells rolling. Yeah. Once Empire gets into the moat and he's got a target, he's so quick at casting everything into chain and kill that one person. Mm -hmm. They need Renekton on her early to just disrupt her combo. If he can do that, then they might be able to deal with the front line in time. But other than that, it's really hard here for Complexity. Uh, they've been doing a good job of keeping up these inhibitor turrets, though, and allowing them to regenerate. Okay, let's see if they can get this now. Here we are, waiting in front of the wings. NK Inc. not he visible. They don't have goes a ward in, again. Finds the fear. Nothing here is going to go down again. And here comes again. the dive on. And NK dies so freaking fast, though. One for one. The kill still going through. Jezzy drops down. Double kill. Golden Glue running away on the side. Impact will trying to find Richie Rich. Can he get away? Barriers up. Damage output. Oh, not going to be enough. Support Daddy fighting Zamfira. Almost gets the kill. Golden Glue in a battle with Ziploc does not get that one either. Only Support Daddy is alive. These, Four for one battle. These support are the most Daddy. exciting fights. Man. Crazy. Again, NK initiates. And Cognitive turn on the afterburners. They go straight at them. Everything ends in chaos. Yep. The only person to go down was Sivir, who was focused by all of complexity. But man, is that a stylish win for Cognitive? I gotta say, though, NK Inc. didn't. Zonia's there. He mm -hmm. died. And you said it, right? Like, what yeah. if he gets bursted out? Exactly. And he did. Immediately blown up. Zonia's would have been a huge difference in that fight right here. Lots of corpses on the ground. We see them right there. Silence comes out, a little bit of damage, NK not a good spot, has to get the Zonius, that's nice. A little bit late, goes down. Nexus turret's under fire, this is going to be game one going over to Cognitive. If they win one more game here, what, hold on, they're battling. He's taking damage, Nexus, goes down, alright, it's bad to make sure. Who got 25 gold? I didn't, I didn't see it either, minions maybe. Scumbag minions stole the money away, 50 gold I believe for the Nexus. Oh yeah, 50. 50. I see, I never kill it, I so. saw yeah, junglers never <laughs> deal any damage. It's all the AD carries. I'm always dead. The stylish way to do it, get the last bolt in the air, then recall. I'm you always just worried about where am I going to be in the end game picture. I'm not trying to kill the Nexus. You want to look good? trying to get a pose. All right. <laughs> I like to sky fall in. It's a good one. You have to be Pantheon for that to work out. Okay. So pick Pantheon more. Okay. Gosh, it's easy, Kobe. Tips. Good tips. Pick Pantheon, be stylish at the end of the game. Fall into the Nexus, another good one. Did you know if you hold spacebar 
We're going to move on. we got an actual game to talk about. So, interesting game. The Crow Storm Ganks, the Fiddle Six Ganks, pretty hit and miss. Some of them got outplayed. Some of them were really freaking good. The team fight initiations from the Crow Storm also, I think, pretty exceptional. Mm -hmm. He died too fast, but I think the timing was very good. He found his target very well. i got to say, like as, as much as it kind of backfired, I like the Fiddlesticks. In the one around Baron... It turned out really well for them because yeah. yeah, he's channeling his ultimate backwards towards the rest of the team and runs into Zampira. Yeah. That's great. That's exactly how they want to turn out. But mm -hmm. besides that, you know, Cognitive were able to make really good use of Sivir Ulti and everybody being sped up makes it hard for Fiddlesticks to catch somebody True. and land the fear on them. So I mean Sivir really seems to be the theme of the day today. Yeah, all the LCS is. teams using Sivir all over the place, um, to great effect and now yeah. uh, Challenger teams as well. Sivir uh, definitely having a good run nowadays. She is, she is, and and I'm I'm still like I'm just kind of dwelling on the game. I like to play Fiddle Six myself, and it's like you have a team with so much hard engage and like so many good ways to deal with fiddles. You've got like Shivana can run to the back line, pop her to get rid of you. LeBlanc pick. just hates you all the time, and you've got Sivir <laughs> Leona. They're looking to start engages, and yet even still, Complexity Red could find ways to jump in uh, and start things out. But I still have to hand the credit to Cognitive. They played the game very well. Seemed to be very much under control. Didn't succumb to many of the ganks. Won pretty much all their lanes. i got to say it was a very well-played game by them. Yeah, it was. I have to say, too, the mid-game aggression from Cognitive. They got picks on both sides of the map simultaneously a yeah. couple of times. So really everybody on that team was on point. And it's going to have to be more ward control from yep. uh, Complexity. I do like the Scrying Orb, though. After they had already lost control, yeah. that's kind of your Band-Aid on the situation. Yep. But before that, they need to start it up earlier. So, well played. Now, guys, we've got to take a quick break. But when you return, it's time.